Hi there, and welcome to Plastic Components online product demonstration video. My name is Rick Fajardo, and I am the manufacturing representative for Plastic Components. What is Plastic Components, and what do we do? Plastic Components is one of the nation's largest distributors of PVC accessories for the construction industry. Some of our products are currently being used in industry segments such as stucco plaster, the drywall, stone veneer, EFIS, and direct applied. Again, plastic components, main area is PVC accessories. Today, we are going to review a launch product that has been distributed by plastic components. It's a product that has been um, received in the market with some excitement and a lot of questions. And what product am I talking about? I'm talking about the Radii Trim System. What is Radii Trim, you might ask? Radii Trim, simply put, is a simple and convenient and efficient way to finish suspended ceilings terminating at a curved wall or surface. What am I talking about? I'm talking about something that looks like this. A wall and a suspended ceilings. More specifically than that, we're addressing curvatures. This Radii Trim System demonstration kit, which we'll be using later, shows you a curved wall. Okay? Keep in mind that this is a trim. It is not designed to support, nor will it support the weight of the grid. Radia trim eliminates expensive extruded metal collar rings, radius reveal moldings, and wall angles. The current method that we currently use when we try to address curvatures along the wall is by taking prefabricated metal producing them at an off-site facility and then transporting that to the actual job site. Now how many times have you been in a job site where the stuff that's produced outside does not jive well with the stuff that's actually happening at the job site? Thus, Radii Trim was invented for that specific purpose. <clears throat> Radii Trim comes in two different profiles and five different sizes. The first profile that we have is your standard L profile, as you can see right here, it comes with two different sizes. The second profile, I'll grab the big one here, is the shadow reveal mold. Please feel free to visit our website, which is right behind me, plasticcomponents.com, so that way you can get more technical information and sizes appropriately. So how does this work? Again, radii trim is meant to address curvatures along the wall and it's in a suspended grid. So technically, we've got two different types of curvatures, an outside radius and then conversely, an inside radius. First, we'll be looking at an outside radius and show you how this product will make your installations a lot easier. Product comes in eight and 10 foot sizes and what we'll do is we're going to start with an outside radius. We're going to start with the PC800-1 and we're going to insert this into the curved demonstration kit. Outside radiuses is what everybody loves because it does not require the use of a heat gun. As you can see, the product is finished. It is nice and smooth and conforms to the curvature of the wall makes an installation a lot easier. Now in my opinion where the product really really shines is when you're doing an inside radius. Again, same installation technique. We're going to start at one end, install the product across. As you can see, because the product does have some flex capabilities, it conforms to the curvature of that wall. But if you notice, once it is conformed, it's got these waves or wrinkles. Now the neat trick about this product is with the use of a heat gun, we're going to make these wrinkles go away. This is your standard heat gun that you can get at any big box store. You can probably find it online. Nothing fancy about this product. While we wait for this to warm up, I've taken the uh, liberty to preform some other shapes to show you exactly how we're going to take this wrinkle, a 
apply heat to it and make it a nice and smooth, as you can see right there. Okay. Same process will then be repeated by using the shadow step mold. Okay? So we're taking this product straight and make it a curve. And just like anything else, the more experience that you have, the more creative you will be, and the better you will understand how this product works. Here is how creative you can get. Almost an S-style shape. It is very firm, rigid, and will hold its form. Now that the heat gun is hot, we're going to start to once again work away these wrinkles. The preferred way to do that is to start at one end, and in a nice, smooth stroke, start from one end and work your way across the other. Two to three inches is what we, re we recommend for the product to start taking form and shape. And again, from one side to the other side, in a nice, smooth fat manner. You want to avoid doing that. One side to the other side. Let's do it one last time. And that's it. Product uh, will cool down in about two to three minutes. Some of the questions that we get um, on this product. Um, is it paintable? Absolutely. The product is paintable. Um, what sizes does it come in? Your L comes in 10 foot pieces and your shadow comes in 8 foot pieces. And again, once again, I recommend everybody go to the website, PlasticComponents.com, to check out more technical information. My name is Rick Fajardo and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you.